in 256 B.C., an event unfolded that may stand as one of the earliest recorded instances of chemical warfare in human history. This event took place in the context of a fierce conflict between two of the ancient world's most formidable powers, the Roman Republic and the Sasanian Empire. The stage for this dramatic confrontation was set at Dura Europo a strategically significant town situated along the Euphrates River in what is now modern-day Syria. Dura Europo, originally a Hellenistic settlement, had come under Roman control and was a vital frontier fortress in their eastern territories. The Sasanian Empire, a successor to the Parthian Empire and a formidable rival to Rome, sought to expand its influence and control in the region. The ensuing siege of this border town was not only a clash of military might but also a collision of tactical innovation and desperation. As the Sasanians besieged the town, the Romans, known for their military discipline and engineering prowess, occupied and fortified it preparing for a long and arduous defense. The Sasanians, led by their dynamic and ambitious ruler, employed a strategy that was as ingenious as it was unexpected. They began to dig tunnels under the city's massive walls, intending to either infiltrate or collapse them. The Romans, upon discovering these subterranean efforts, initiated countermining operations. Roman soldiers, trained in various combat forms, now found themselves engaged in an underground battle, a stark departure from traditional open field warfare. The tension must have been palpable as both sides dug through the earth, aware that a misstep could mean a sudden and violent encounter with the enemy. The culmination of this subterranean struggle came with a devastating and shocking twist from the Sasanians. In a move that demonstrated both their cunning and ruthlessness, they decided to use chemical warfare. The Sasanians set fire to pots containing pitch and sulfur, placed within the confines of the tunnels. When ignited, these materials produced a dense, toxic cloud of sulfur dioxide. The effects of this noxious gas were horrific. Roman soldiers, trapped in the narrow, dark tunnels, were engulfed by the deadly cloud. They experienced severe respiratory distress, marked by coughing, shortness of breath, and a burning sensation in their lungs. The confined, poorly ventilated space amplified the gas's impact, leading to pulmonary edema and other fatal complications. This gas attack, while limited in scope, had a profound psychological and physical impact. The chaos, fear, and confusion it generated among the Roman troops were debilitating. The darkness of the tunnels, combined with the sudden onset of a toxic environment, created a scenario of intense claustrophobia and disorientation. These conditions made an organized retreat or counterattack nearly impossible. The aftermath of this engagement was tragic. Reports suggest that around 20 Roman soldiers lost their lives. Due to this chemical attack, while the broader military and strategic consequences of the siege of Dura Europa remain a matter of historical debate, the use of chemical warfare in this instance was significant. It possibly represents one of the earliest instances of a deliberate chemical weapon being employed on the battlefield. Roman records and archaeological findings at Dura Europa provide some evidence of this event, though many details remain shrouded in the mists of time. The Sasanian tactic, while perhaps effective in the short term, raises many questions about ancient warfare, ethics and the lengths to which armies would go to achieve victory. In conclusion, the siege of Dura Europo stands as a stark reminder of the ancient world's capacity for both tactical ingenuity and ruthless warfare. The Sasanian use of chemical weapons, while not fully confirmed, is a poignant example of the relentless pursuit of military advantage. Regardless of the human cost, this event, though largely lost to history, offers a glimpse into the darker aspects of ancient warfare and the perpetual evolution of military tactics.